Right, today we're going to do a proper test of the Soviet DP-3B vehicle decimeter system or basically radiation, you know, dose rate decimeter system. So what this is, is a basically vehicle based system, I've done a full video on this before, that does radiation levels from 100 milli Ronkgen all the way up to 500 Ronkgen. Funnily enough, exact same levels as the CDV 715. But this was for use in things like T55s and Heinz. So I'll just show you my setup for the video. So I've got the proper voltage being put in via um, a lab PSU. You can see the system is on there, so you can see you can change the scale like that. If I press the test circuit button, you can see that it'll actually go to the area it's meant to, because it says it's meant to go to between 0 0.4 and 0 0.8 on the instructions, and that's what it's doing. If you put more voltage in, it goes a bit higher, um, but it means the calibration's correct on it. Right, anyway, so we're going to use it on the times one scale first, which is 0 to 1 Ronkman, basically, in the 100 milli Ronkman range. And how we're going to test it, is we've got that Chinese X-ray camera of death there pointing at its probe. So its probe is a giant ionization chamber. So I have no idea how high it's going to read through the metal of the housing of it, but let's um, now zoom in there. So what I'm going to do is get this focus on there, get to a safe distance, and then set this off via its remote control, and then I'll see what the reading is later when I review back the footage. Actually, I can probably stand behind that pillar there and be blocked from most of the radiation, so let's do that. Right. Test fire one. Oh, that's gone completely off scale, hasn't it? Right, the x-rays have finished shooting. Now, as you can probably see, the um, meter's now going back down. So now what we're going to do is go to the times 10 scale, which would be 0 to 10 Ronken. So you can see that says times 10 on the selector there. There's the red light there. I'll just zoom that out a little bit so you can see how the red light goes off when it detects radiation. Right, firing again. And it's at least 10 Ronken. Right, so now we need to go to the times 100 scale. So there we are, it now says times 100 as you can see and the meter is now resetting to where it should go. So we're on times 100. Uh, we've got obviously the pro pointing at the thing. So now let's give it another shot. So this would, this is goes from zero to 100 Ronken. And the needle is finishing up around the six mark by the look of it. So that's 60 Ronken per hour. There we go, 60 Ronken per hour. And that's the hot, relatively hard X-rays, which are traveling through the probe housing there, the metal probe housing, and into the ionization chamber that's made from plastic and some other materials, probably like Bakelite and whatever, it's a bit like the DP2s, but inside that rather thick metal housing. So there you can see, DP2 works perfectly. It's actually a really good um, vehicle-based decimeter system. Um, you know, I'll get back a distance and fire this off again, in case you want to see it go off. Um, doubt I can actually get that all in frame with all the other unit, but let's just have it like that so you can see the entire system going off. Let me just see if I can get that at a bit of a higher angle. It's a bit better for the camera to see. There we go. So just for you people who love to see meters like this go off, here we go. I'll test the bottom scale in a moment. So this one goes to 60. If I do the bottom scale, it should go to about there on the bottom scale if I set it to 500. But let's fire off this one. When it fires. There we are. So now let's go back. Let's switch this to the 500 thing. So that's zero. You now use the bottom scale, zero to 500 Ronken. And what I'm expecting, I'll zoom in so you can see this a bit better. I'm expecting the needle is going to stop. If you look at the top scale or the bottom scale, if you can just about see the, it's just stuck just at the wrong angle to see the 100 there. There we go. Um, I'm expecting it to basically go to that first notch, you know, which would be about 50. Um, so if I put it down like this, you're not going to see it all that well, I'm afraid. Uh, let's just put it there. But, does that work if I zoom in? Yeah, okay, so we'll let the camera focus. There we are. So I'll get to a distance and set this off, but I'm expecting it to get to that first notch or just a bit higher now it's on the 100 Ronkin scale. Sorry, 500 Ronkin scale. Ah, 
Ah, it's going a bit higher, it's going closer to 100 Rontgen there. But that would just be due to the calibration, I imagine, between the two um, different scales. Um, personally, obviously, if you get, if you're using the times 100 scale and it says 60, then the, you know, 0 to 500 scale and it says about, you know, 90 to 100, I'd probably go off the more accurate lower sensitivity one, you know, or higher sensitivity one that says 60. But there you go. A video of the DP3B being tested properly with X-rays, kind of like what it was designed to do, but with gamma rays. So as you can see, it works very well. If you were using this inside a tank, you would, I think, divide the reading by 10. So if it said 100 Rontgen, you'd be absorbing 10 Rontgen. Um, sorry, if it said 10 Rontgen on your meter inside the tank, it would mean it'd be 100 Rontgen outside, because of the, um, basically, way the tank shielding the crew and the meter. But there you go, the DP-3B, a very, very good Soviet vehicle-based decimeter system. Um, and what I'm quickly going to do before I end this video, I'm just going to set the British MD-3 meter up into the exact same position the DP-3 was. And we'll see if we get a centigrade reading on that between about 60 and 100 centigrade, or 50 and 90 centigrade. And that would be pretty close to the Ronkin equivalent, so let's just do that now. Alright, apologies if you can't see it that well, but that's the 0 to 300 centigrade scale. So I imagine it will get between 50 and 100 on this if it matches the dose we got off of the other meter. Oh, saying about 100 centigrade, 90 to 100 centigrade, uh, with all the casing on. So yeah, maybe the 500 range one is actually more accurate on my DP3. But there you go. Um, X-rays and gamma, they're not all that fun if you're exposed to them. Um, thankfully, I'm quite a distance away from this device. So due to inverse square law, I'm getting a much, much lower dose. Um, but yes, not something I do every day for a video. And when I do it, I always do it down this end of the house when nobody else is in the house, you know, because of the fact that, you know, I don't want to expose anyone but myself to these when I do these tests. So there you go.